Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Welcome back. So we did the lowercase and uppercase challenge. Let's jump into the Swiss switch case challenge. And like I said to some of you guys, some of you guys have actually already solved it. So great job on that. Perfect. Our mic is up and running. Okay. So how are we going to do this challenge? Well, first of all, let's understand what the actual problem is. So the problem says, if I gave you something like, I don't know, H-E-L, return H-E-L in all caps. If I gave you any letter, just give me the opposite casing of it. So if I gave you a small H, give me a capital H. If I give you a small, uh, a capital E, give me a small E. Uh, and if I gave you a word with like small followed by big, give me big followed by small. Okay, I think it makes sense to you. Uh, here are some examples. So it says like if I call the switch case function on ARG, an exclamation mark, return to me small a, capital R, capital G, exclamation mark, okay? So let's think about how we are gonna do this. There is a built-in method, but I challenge you to try to do it without the built-in method, okay? Some of you guys have already solved using the built built-in Python method, so good job on that. Okay, so how can we go about this? Well, let's think about it, right? Obviously, I want you to actively try this out. If you're on my website, you can code right below this video without having to open up your own command line. So what I would say is like, hey, I would like to create a new string and I want it to just be empty in the start. And then what I'll do is I'll say for a letter and string, so basically I'll loop through the string that I'm given. So if I'm given hello, I wanna like loop through the H and the E and the L and the L and the O. And what I wanna do is as I'm looping through, if I see the H, I wanna check if it's in lowercase. If it is, then I wanna uppercase it and throw it in the new string. If the H is in lowercase, then I want, or sorry, if it, the H is already in the uppercase, then I wanna lowercase it and throw it in the new string. Make sense? So let's give that a try. For letter and string, if letter dot there's a method that actually detects if something is lower or upper. The method is actually called is lower. That's for checking if something is lower. Uh, is lower, then what I wanna do is new string plus equals letter dot upper. Okay, um, else new string plus equals letter dot lower and that should do the trick let's hit the play button let's see what we get and for arg we got something oh yeah we have to return the new string the one that we created okay and it looks beautiful so we have arg capital a small r small g and we're getting back small a capital r capital g and for trinket you can see that it's switch cased the trinket as well, perfectly. And if you wanna take your time, walk through this code, do that because you know this one is not so trivial. I went through it fast, but it's this one is not so simple. Uh, you know, walk through this and just notice how I loop through this. And when I say a loop, you know, I just want you guys to be clear what I mean by that. So I'm gonna open this up, my command line here, and just for a letter in hello, print letter and you'll see that the first loop gave me H the next loop gave me E then the next loop after that gave me L um, and basically what I'm doing is I want to say is lower and I should get five trues back because they're all lower and if I do the same thing and I call dot upper is upper it should say false 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 so using that boolean logic that if and else type of logic I was able to detect if it was lower, and if it was, I just uppercase it and threw it back. Remember what we learned in our lowercase challenge? And then if it was lowercase, it made, I made it uppercase and I threw it back in the new string from what we learned in the uppercase challenge. Well, that's it guys for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.